For the first time since 1994, the Ohio University basketball can call itself a Mid-American Conference regular season champion. Hi, everybody. I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Bobcats. Tom Hodson joins me. It was a co-title, but a title nonetheless. Ohio 14-2 in Mid-American Conference play, 23-8 on the season, 58-54 the final. It was a thriller. It was a grinder. It was another Ohio win over Miami. It was, and it looked in doubt for a while until Ohio took the lead with seven minutes to go in the second half. They didn't relinquish it after that. There was that standard malaise that you might see at the start of a contest. A lot of emotions, senior night, and a lot on the line. Most certainly a win for a co uh, championship and that was evident early it took the Bobcats about well two-thirds of the game to really get rid of it once they got rid of that feeling got the building involved that's when things started to go well well and good coaching I think today especially coach Christian putting in John Smith who gave a whole lot of energy out there 10 boards nine points and played 20 minutes and he also put Stevie Taylor in to run point, putting DJ Cooper off to the two guard and allowed him some free up opportunities to go to the basket. Yeah, Ohio defensively did well to win this ball game today. You hit on a couple of the key cogs there. Stevie Taylor had three steals. John Smith had some blocks and was really active in the paint and at the line. Those two guys... They were certainly the reason why. And then, oh, by the way, D.J. Cooper had another double-figure effort. Absolutely. And finally, Ohio built off the, their defense. We got a couple of quick steals. D, uh, Stevie Taylor got a couple of quick steals. D.J. converted on a three that gave Ohio the lead, and they didn't look back. Cats win by four. They cut the nets down. 58-54 the final. Here's how it looked and sounded at the Convocation Center. Ohio again, all seniors in the starting lineup today on this senior day at the Convocation Center. Head and shoulder fake into the color. High on the right, Coop for three. Bang! The king of the three. Baltic right sideline, back up to the top now, Cooper. Five to shoot, four to shoot. Deep three on the right wing. Bang! Well, it's senior day, so of course he was going to throw one up from Chicago, and he hit it. 18-15, Ohio up three. Tonight, a little tentative. Into the post, Harris, left-hand flyer. Yes, and Miami takes the lead, 19-18. Now back to the bucket, stripped by Cooper. Cooper stole it away from him. Three on two, Coop glides to the goal. Double clutch on the layup, trying. He banked it in with the left hand. Miami's up eight, 32 to 24. Miami's biggest lead of the day is right here. And they show pressure, Kellogg breaks it. Keeley, right wing, glides to the goal. Layup, yes, count it, and a foul. Cooper across the timeline now. Middle of the floor to the foul line. Bounces to Keeley. Right hand flush. 37 to 29. Skips it left side. Baltic high in the left. Taylor for three. Bang. Ohio's down nine. 44 35. Taylor is six. Drives on John Harris. Beat him into the paint. Corner right. Cooper for three. Off the iron. No. John Smith tipping. Yes. Counted and a foul. He started to close the season stronger than he opened the season. Free throw no good. Tipped off the iron twice. He got the rebound, and he tipped it in. Now corner left off it. Beyond the arc on the left side. Drives on Harris. Beat him to the rack. Flipped it up and in. The shot clock waned to 15. It is McKnight. Stumbles in the lane. Threw the ball away. Stevie Taylor one-on-one. -on -one, works on cue to the rim. Banker, yes. We're tied at 44. Left hand dribble on Taylor. Right back to McKnight, had the ball stripped away. Taylor stripped it away, middle of the floor. Pitches left side, Cooper for a three. Bang! Ohio leads 47 to 44, 7-0-1 to go. Up to the top, Harris, head of the key jumper. Yes, 49-48. Back over to the right side off it, skips it left side. Baltic raises, fires, and buries a three. 52 to 48. Eight to shoot, seven to shoot. Post entry, reeled in by Felder. Reverse layup, yes. But Ohio's lead is two. No good, long rebound. Baltic whips it to Smith, leans down, lets the defender go by, and he lays it in. Drives over to the right side. Left wing, now it's Kellogg, jumps up a three. In and out, no good. Rebound, Hall goes back up and scores. 56-52. Now it's Johnson in between the circles for Miami. Into the post, it's Felder, and he's fouled by Hall. To the line, Felder. Deep D-bend. Shoots. Rimmed it in. 
Exhales, and a deep knee bend. Raises, fires, got it. Two-point lead, 57 seconds left, 41 seconds left for the game. Cooper back at the timeline against Harris. 16 on the shot clock now. Cooper way at the timeline, 13 on the shot. Now 10, now 9. Cooper straight on, works on Harris, whips a corner right. Kellogg, ball fake, got a man up, steps in, shoots. Oh, scores! From 17 feet away, four-point lead, 58-54. Timeout Miami, 24.7 seconds left. Four-point lead for Ohio. Miami has the ball. Middle of the floor, it's Quinton Rollins. Top of the wheel, it's Rollins. Right of the paint, Rollins. Shot blocked away by John Smith. Yes, sir, he's had a big-time second half. 15.9 seconds left. Looking, looking, gets it in. Sewell on the angle on the right wing. Ends up with Rollins at the top. Dribbles over to the right side, 10. Now nine. Johnson dribbles left of the uh, paint, goes up, tie up. Jump ball, Ohio. Nick Kellogg at the point of the jump in a shot attempt, tied him up. 6.4 seconds left. Ohio will inbound the basketball. Off it. Walt Offit will do it right by Miami's bench. They get it to Nick Kellogg. Back to Offit. They're not fouling. Four. Now three. Now two. Now one. They won't foul. Ohio University, for the first time, has captured a share of the Mid-American Conference regular season title since 1994. Congratulations to the seniors, the winningest senior group in the history of Bobcat basketball. DJ Cooper, Evo Baltic, Reggie Keeley, Walt Offit, David McKinley, and Nick Goff was honored too. There has never been a more special, successful group of seniors to play at the Roundhouse on Richland. Oh, that's right, and they were cohesive from the beginning. This is a group that has grown together, learned to play together. The introduction of Walt Offit and his toughness help the group mature. This has been a group that's matured and under good coaching from both Coach Gross and Coach Christian. Yeah, Coach Christian this year, of course, major kudos to what John Gross and his staff did with these guys to be able to recruit them, to start them off, and their four years of uh, work here are certainly special. Uh, and so uh, I, I can imagine that every Bobcat fan is certainly thinking about John and that staff uh, today when they see the Bobcats win over Miami. All right, it's on to Cleveland now. It's a different sort of vibe because previously Ohio hasn't been in this situation uh, possessing a net on a bus up to Cleveland. It's different. It, it is different and we'll see how their attitude maybe changes going into Cleveland. Looking at the brackets early Akron and Kent State the two teams that Ohio's had the most trouble with losing twice to Akron the last time here at home in, in overtime and real close games with Kent State. They're both in the opposite bracket. So Ohio, get by that first game, they're in the finals. The high seed around Ohio, the three seed is Western Michigan. Ohio is clear all the way to Friday. We need to see you at the queue wearing your green. It was a great contingent of Bobcat fans last year, hopefully a bigger crowd this year. Our first game broadcast will be in the semifinals. Opponent TBA on the air at 8.30 with the tip at 9 o'clock. Rob Cornelius and I will have the cause. Ohio plays in the Mid-American Conference Tournament. Two songs, hopefully, to dance in the big dance. Thanks to Tom Hodson for his good work. Now I'm Russ Eisenstein. Thanks to the Bobcat TV crew as well. Cats win at 58-54 over Miami. Co-regular season champions, the Bobcats in 2012-2013. Good night from Athens. This is Bobcat TV.